Hello again. Um, today I'm going to try something I haven't tried before and that is um, show you what I do to uh, generate sentiments and images on um, cards directly from the computer. I've got a bunch of uh, digital images and um, sometimes the words you want to say you haven't got a stamp for or you haven't got a die for so um, I can do them on the computer. So what I have here is Word 2013. On my laptop, which is what you're looking at now, um, I like to have the screen so that the size of the page is exactly the size of the paper that I'm going to be using. So this is the width, you can see, of a sheet of A4. Uh, and I will print onto a, a A4 card, um, with my printer, which is a Canon, all in one inkjet rear feed. And the rear feed is the important thing uh, if you want to print on card, because it means the, the card doesn't have to bend back on itself to get through the, the printer. So that's where we are. Right, We're, Word 2013, I've got my screen set to 118%. You can see it's in this bottom right-hand corner around here. So your machine will be different. My last laptop, uh, I can't remember what it was now, but it wasn't 118, but you can fiddle around with, to do this, I'll just show you actually. Um, if you, if on the view, can you see at the top here, it's on the view. If you go to zoom, you can mess around with the size of your screen here, mine is set at 118 and okay. So that will make your screen the size that you see, okay. So that's that. We've got that far. Let's see. Now, to make my tenfold cards, I would be cutting this um, sheet of card in the in half down the length and tenfolding it. So if you imagine this is my card, um, the bit at the top of, it, of this um, image would be the back of the card. So the front would be down here at the bottom. So if I'm going to obviously put my um, printing directly onto the card, that's where it needs to be. So um, the width of my card is going to be 10 and a half centimetres. So to give me an idea of knowing what I'm doing, I'm going to go to, up to insert, shapes, and I'm just going to get a rectangle and we're working on the right hand side here for some reason. I don't know why I do that, but I do. Just draw a box. If you see here, that's only 9.87 centimetres. So I'm going to make it 10.5. There we go. That is just a guide for me to know that is the width of card from there to there. That's the width of card I'm working with. OK, first thing I want to do is to put in my image. So I'm going to insert shapes text box. Down here we go and I'm going to draw a text box. That is where my image is going to go into that. That's the vague, I can alter the position later, but that's where it's going to go. I've got my cursor inside it. So now I'm going to go back to insert pictures. Now I'm going to go to downloads. I'm going to search and put Stella because that's who I want. And here she is. This is what I want. And I'm going to drop her. Well, I'll just double click her and there she goes into the box. OK, right. I've got my Im my image. I can mess about with size and things later, but there we go. Now I want to do the sentiment and the sentiment I want to put is I love getting into the Christmas spirit and I want to put it around here somewhere so that it goes kind of in with the contours of the side of the glass. So I think I'm going to have about three lines for that to fit those words in. So once more, I'm going to do some text boxes. So up we go to insert shapes, text box. 
and I'm going to draw one um, let me just draw one and then I'll um, I love um, I don't want that sentiment um, that font rather I want a font that's going to match the sort of line that this image has got and the one I want to use is called hello so with that highlighted I'm going to go up to home to my fonts and I'm going to just go to hello but that's too small so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger let's see how big I want it I think 20 we'll try that now this text box I'm going to copy I'm going to make another couple one two because then I'll have the same size the same font I'll do, all I have to do is oh let's take both of them together here we go just pressing shift to join them both together and I'll take them down to, to the bottom come on dear come on here we go right so now I've got three text boxes and I want this one to say getting in, oh, in no into don't want a capital G my computer thinks it knows better than me I think I'll put the on there as well the and in this one we'll have Christmas spirit okay now they're gonna go somewhere over here I love tell you what let me make all of these when I put them over there you saw what happened then can you see that covers up part of the glass I don't know why I've got another one underneath but still so I'm going to make all of these three transparent so up to all three highlighted up to format Shape styles is here. Click in the corner, go to fill, make them transparent. Okay. Now it seems that I've got another one behind there. I don't know where that came from. Let's get rid of it. Okay. I love getting into the Christmas spirit. Do I like it there? Maybe let's put it. I think that's all right. Now I'm going to get rid of those lines from the boxes. So holding shift, click on each of the three boxes up to format at the top here click shape outline no outline so now they've got no at the, oh, i don't know why it always jumps to the top it makes me cross so now i need to get rid of this box is that the position i wanted to what i i'm so technical i'll tell you i have a little piece this is this would be the shape of my card you see and I can put it over the screen and I can see the position of where it's going to be. And I think that actually is going to be all right. So now this one, let's get rid of those lines. Shape outline on the format. It's got to be highlighted. Format, shape outline, no outline. Here I want to get rid of this blue box because that's just telling me how wide my card was. And there... It's what I want straight onto the onto the um, card. So now all I need to do is to print it. I might as well do it for you.
Right, let's go to print. Anything happening? I wonder. Yep, something's happening. The wheels are grinding. This is underlined here because the computer thinks I should have put a capital letter and it doesn't like it, but when it comes to the actual print, it's not the line's not there. If I was to take a screenshot, it would be there, but not if the line's not there. So here is my printed, um, can you see that? I can't see what I'm doing. So all I need to do now is to chop this in half and crease it. There we go. There is my card, ready to be ready to be coloured. Now, if I because this is straight onto the card like this, I would colour that with probably watercolour pencils or something like that because I don't like um, markers showing through on the inside. If I wanted to use markers so that I had a more vivid colour, then I would cut a panel for this and stick it onto the front of a card separately. So there we go. I hope you've learned something. I hope it wasn't too much of a muddle for you. So um, let me know how, how you get on. Thanks very much.